Our housing price is plunging in Minnesota. We just got news that the rates are as high as they've been since 2002. What are the rates at now? Also, how many price decreases has there been in Minnesota this week and this month? All that and more on this edition of Minnesota Housing Market Update Time. Let's go. All right, let's jump into the numbers from last month to this month. In September, the inventory increased from 8,914 to 9,138. The median sales price decreased from 370K to 362K. The days on market went from 27 to 32. The price per square foot went from 190 to 189. All right, now let's look at the year over year numbers. From September 2021, the closed sales decreased from 6,383 to 4,949 to this year. So September 2021 to September 2022, that is a significant decrease in closed sales. That might be more partly because of the raising of interest rates and getting post pandemic here. Things are softening and slowing down a little bit, which is probably good. Um, the median sales and price increased from 341K to 362K, so appreciation is still there. The total numbers of homes for sale went from 8,998 to 9,138, more supply. More supply and then they raise interest rates and that will quell demand. So something's going to happen here. The average days on market went from 23 to 32, so it's taking a little bit longer to buy a house. So a couple things to note here. If you notice, September of last year was the highest point of inventory of the entire year. So what I'm seeing is a slow migration to more listings, and that equals more supply. More supply coupled with less demand created by them raising interest rates equals lower prices. Uh, more likely it'll be slowing appreciation, uh, catching up to where we were or where we should have been after 08. So what we'll probably see here is slowing appreciation because when you mix uh, lower demand with a little bit higher supply, that's what the numbers are showing. There is lower demand, there is higher supply, therefore prices should maybe slow down a little bit, or at least the appreciation of the prices should sh should slow down a little bit. And I always say that's where we are. We just caught up. The, the appreciation that we've had the last 10 years or so has been catching up to where we should have been, uh, not foreseeing the financial destruction of 08. Okay, right now, according to Freddie Mac's website, for a 30-year mortgage, the rate is at 6.92. And like I said earlier in the video, that is the highest that we've seen since 02. But we should go look at a little bit of a history lesson on interest rates, because in August 08, August of 08 was kind of a crucial time in our economy, I'd, I'd say. Uh, in August 08, it was 6.4%, and that was kind of post-crash. So that kind of lets you know where we're at. August 08, 6.4% for a 30-year loan. All right, here's something I haven't had a chance to go over with you guys yet as far as these videos that I make. The number of price decreases, I find this very interesting. So according to my MLS, today, the number of price decreases, just today, just today, in my MLS, our MLS, was 99. And there was two price increases. Interesting, right? All right, now let's check out the number this week. This week, there was 1,681 price decreases and 78 increases. I think if we keep paying attention to this number, it might be a really interesting thing to follow. The daily and weekly price increases and especially decreases. Now, here's a chart, which I know is super exciting, that deals with the median sales price over time. That is as far back as the MLS would possibly let me go. How far back does it go? To 2006, right? You see that line, how 2008, it went down and kind of stayed down, right? And it kind of bumped around, bumped around, and it's been going up since, I don't know, about 2011 or 12. 
It's been going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And that is the seasonality of real estate. Because in general, things in the wintertime, prices kind of uh, bottom out just in general overall. And then uh, they go up in summertime. That's just how it is. So what we're seeing right now, does this look any different than the last 10 years? So when people tell you that prices are plunging and there's going to be an economic collapse, there might be, you know, but the, the, the real estate market itself to me is going to make more sense and be more balanced and fair for buyers and sellers, which is more healthy for our economy as a whole, because to me, real estate kind of drives a lot of the markers of our economy. Hey y'all, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, my name is Tom Lang. I'm a real estate agent from the great state of Minnesota. I'll have my contact information at the end. If there's anything in the world I could help you with, please hit me up and let me know. Thanks everybody and have a great day.